just because, no It's your girl Cameron and I'm back at it again with another video and today as you guys can see I'm so freaking excited because I'm going to be reacting to 7 Lil Nas X's new EP that just dropped literally 21 minutes ago so I need to like get to it because I'm a little late but like I'm on it even if you weren't excited everyone's curious I think that Lil Nas X came out with Old Town Road dope song he got a lot of backlash for it persevered billy ray got on the song fire straight heat bringing country and hip-hop together and it caused a lot of controversy especially with like country music listeners but i think it's dope what he's done i stand and i think a lot of people really do like him the real question here is is lil nas x a one-hit wonder okay so that's the question i'm going to be answering at the end of this video Personally, I don't think he is. I don't think, I think this is a different time, a day and age. And I think a lot of the times nowadays, it's really about that personality. So I feel like if you can bring, you know, personality to it in the mixture with music, I feel like you can have some sort of engaging, some sort of pull. And I think that's exactly what he has. I'm crossing my fingers. I really hope he gives us something. So I honestly just feel like the whole black community rallied around him literally lifted him up and embraced him and i'm so excited to see what this kid has in his future but before we do get into this we have to do and talk a few logistics you guys see my hair and my sister shout out to my sister she helped me dye the hair because yeah it was not like this and i would have been lost without her so yeah shout out to my sis or actually i'll probably just put it on the screen right here so definitely follow her social next subscribe to my channel what are you doing sis if i haven't earned it already that's fair but definitely don't leave this video without subscribing um please like comment down below let me know what you think of the song do you think that lil nas x is a one-hit wonder that's what the real question is and we all know it so we're not even gonna beat around the bush um let's go let's get it let's see what's up okay, so looking at the track list for seven um there are eight songs i'm going to play old town road for a second just to get the feel of the tape because i'm very curious and i think a lot of us are curious what is his sound is he gonna go for this country trap thing i do feel like i've seen interviews and heard him talk and i don't think that's like a goal of his is to just straight go into country hip-hop whatever the hell that is i think his goal really is just to make unique music fun music Whatever he feels, whatever he vibes to. So I don't know. We're going to see. So let's go. Hey. I'm missing my cowgirl hat. Of course, Old Town Road is a song that will go down in history. And this next song on here is called Panini. All I do know about Panini is that I think it dropped yesterday. This one, but I guess this is his second single. And let's see what we're getting into. Hey. I already kind of like the, you got the whistling. Hey. So I'm getting a different vibe from Old Town, but it's still different and it's still kind of in that realm. Hey. I like that beat breakdown right here with the drums. Hey. Panini, like what are we talking about? The rhyme. The the good thing about him is he doesn't take himself too seriously. If this were some dude who came out and was like, I'm rapping, whatever, yada yada yada, hey Panini, I heard you were a meanie, whatever he's saying, we would probably be like, bro, that's trash. I hate to say, but it's like he kind of gets a pass. Like his brand is like just kind of fun like don't take me too seriously so you can't listen to this and take it too literally because 
and if you do, maybe you don't like that. But so let's continue. I just feel like bopping my head. I like this part. Hey. One minute and 54 seconds, and the more that I look at these, every single song is under three minutes. Every single song is under three minutes. Marketing genius. He knows what he's doing. Quote, me making Panini short to increase streams. The next is called Family, You and Me. Intriguing. Like, I haven't listened to an artist in a while, and I'm like, what the hell is going to happen? Hey. We love guitars. We love guitars. Whoa, I'm... I really like the beginning part, but I'm kind of getting, it's losing me. I like this part. I like a lot of parts of songs that just simplify, break down. I like this part with the drums. Hey, hey, hey. And you can hear the whistling again. So there's some thematic elements, this old west feel, but we have more of like a rock vibe. I for sure thought that he was going to go with like the trap mix again. But he didn't. Um, personally for me, this is not something I'm going to listen to. As I said, I have appreciation for all types of music. Love the guitar, electric guitar, the drums. I love that like rock beat that it has. But out of certain styles of music, this isn't something that I would listen to. It's just not for me. However, I do appreciate how I feel like there is going to be something for everybody on this this one's not for me, but it might be for you. It might be for you. I'm not mad at it, but it's just not something I could see myself listening to. Kick it. We got kick it. This is good. One, two, two, me. Hey. For three, see if you need I like that beat. If you want it, I got it, nigga. We should go and kick it. It's good. Okay. Hey. Hey. Ooh, I like this beat. I like that beat. Is that like a trumpet? Mm, 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 mm. Like those little subtle touches are what makes the song to me, and I really like that in this. Drums. So we got the drums again. Again, this is something that we didn't see in Old Town Road that he seems to be kind of thematic with the other songs. Mm. We love a good orchestra moment, guys. Before anybody comments, because I've gotten a comment about this, talking about I'm a boring person. Somebody said that to me, and that I shouldn't be doing this. But also they said, you need to get a speaker. I'm sorry guys, I do need to get a speaker. I just wanted to say this before I made this comment, but this song would sound so sick in the car. I don't know if you guys could hear, and again on your own time, definitely go listen to it. But I don't know if you guys hear those like, those deep basses that are so deep that if you're not listening on a big speaker it's like you can't hear them and then when you hear it in the speaker it sounds like a different song because it's like you're hearing these things that you didn't hear before but that song would sound so sick in the car but I was a little iffy because I was like oh this sounds like just a basic trap beat right as he adds these subtleties um that really make the song dynamic he had like I want to say it's a trumpet sound or a harmonica I know those are two totally different instruments, so don't come for me. Please correct me respectfully in the comments. Thank you. When the orchestra came in at the end, the violin. Ugh. Excuse me. And I will be listening to this song. I like this song. I like it. Next one is called Rodeo. I'm assuming this is going to have a country feel to it. <laughs> I was waiting for the beat to drop. 
He has that country twang in his voice. This is one of those things that people are gonna bump for real, but it's gonna be like, why does everyone like this song? We don't know, but we just like it. Kind of like Old Town Road. Oh, oh. I knew Cardi was gonna be on this, but I didn't know she was gonna be on this song. So I'm shook too. This reminds me of her flow on Please Me by Bruno Mars. Nah. Uh -uh, uh -uh. I think her verse could have been harder. Hey. Oh. Liked it a lot. I loved Lil Nas X's part and Cardi hopped on it. You guys already commented on that. Don't need to really say anything about that. I definitely think though this is the one that's going to be pushed. The the star power of Cardi B on it. I think it just naturally is a given that that one's going to be pushed. Interestingly, this is another like country old west feel. A good one. I think we can all agree that that was a good one. Next, we are moving on to Bring You Down, which is track number six. So we're almost there. Ooh. I like the deep bass in the guitar. I don't know what's gonna bring you down. I really don't know this going and I love it because I love when people can keep you on your toes. Grungy feel to it. Go crazy. It's a guitar solo. I don't know anybody who doesn't like a good guitar solo. Mm. I like it a lot. I think it's one of those that are going to grow on me, but it's not something I'm going to write off automatically. I want to say more of an alternative feel versus like straight rock. The last one we're going to be reacting to today is called Closure with a 7. Hey, different vibe. Cause this one's giving me more like SoundCloud vibes. Nothing wrong with SoundCloud. Mm. I really want to like this so bad, but it's something about his vocals isn't pulling through for me. But I love the beat. I love the vibe. about it is weird. This part, mm -mm. vocals, we need vocals, we need more vocals if, for something like this. Oh, I love that. Mm. I like that. For closure, um, I liked the song. I think that one might grow on me, guys. I just want to like it so bad. Just when he gets to the chorus, I feel like his voice isn't strong enough to carry this song but I think something about it is very unique and I I don't I gotta listen to that one again but I really want to like it that was the seven EP mind you this is an EP not an album with that being said I think that this is a pretty good project now what I will say after listening to this I think it's gonna be a 50 50 moment with the response I'm the type of person too where I don't have to like everything but I can still respect it and be like you did your thing. I think if people don't really care for it, it might be coming from a place of like maybe they don't understand it, maybe they don't listen to some certain kinds of music because there was a different feel on here than I was expecting. This is a toss up. I don't think it was like a home run out of the park like can't deny but music is subjective. I don't think anything somebody's going to drop is going to be a home run out of the park. I do think it's going to appeal to a big audience, which is important when we're talking about selling records, appealing to audiences. We're going to rate it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Solid project. Now, the real question that we've all been wondering is, do we think Lil Nas X is a one-hit wonder? 
and by listening to this project i have to say that i don't think that he is i really do not i think that we're going to be paying attention to him for a while i think this is just the beginning for him and i'm here for it so as long as he continues to make music that pushes limits pushes boundaries i like it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please like comment down below let me know do you agree with me do you like this project do you hate it have at it in the comments just go for it hit that subscribe button too by the way like you made it to the end you spent your time on my channel i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye